Can you actually buy two watches with $500? Well, actually you could. But can it be this good and wife approved? In the world of micro brands, Vario is a name trusted by many fans for their quality vintage style watches, their premium leather goods, and of course, their affordable pricing. But this watch has something a little bit more special. Here you go. Oh, sorry, it took so long. And for this model, you're literally getting two watches for the price of one. Vario promotes this watch as a GMT. I can see the idea behind it, and I can see a good self-respecting professional making use of this Versa as a travel companion that's easy to wear and quick to use. However, we all know that respectable traveling professional is actually a watch pirate in disguise. All he cares about is how this piece would look like on his wrist. I mean, come on, you're smarter than your eyes. It's not a Cartier tank and certainly nowhere near its cost, but it looks close to it. If that Cartier tank lived under its mother's basement, browses Houdinke half the day and watches this channel the other half. No offense to overweight Cartier tanks out there, but you really do need some exercise. If you've been following my channel, you know that my favorite exercise is changing straps. I'm really amazed at how this thing wears a lot of the bands that I love. Let's begin with this strap from Vario and it's a sweet and simple band that brings out the glam on this case. This has a great taper and the buckle is also pretty good. This polished hardware will attract scratches, but that's all part of the experience. On the topic of experience, there's a unique way that you can set the time on this watch. You can dig your nails under the crown here, and then you can readily adjust the time. Those who may wonder if this crown sticks out, it certainly doesn't feel like it. So far, I haven't hit this part of the watch anywhere that would warrant any worries. This is how it looks like with a delicious burgundy dial with a neutral tone strap. Now, how would it fare with a livelier strap such as this enticing red leather with light stitching? Vario is a great source of watch accessories and it shows with this beautifully textured strap. It's also a big plus that it's such a snap to use because of the quick release spring bars. On this darker toned burgundy setup, there's a slight clash of personalities. The combo still works with this complementary relationship. You may need to make this work with the rest of your outfit, but it goes to show that you have this Lego style watch in your hands here. Now here's the pied de resistance. If this dial isn't working for you, you can flip it for you to enjoy the other dial. Now I have two of the three favorite things in the world with this watch. It's a Lego and a transformer. It's literally two watches in one case. The mechanism is so seamless that it virtually has the same profile and dimensions whichever dial it has actively on. Now, if this watch could level up like a Super Saiyan, it could have been the perfect watch in the universe forever. Now, let's swap a non vario strap on this Versa to see how it looks like on a steel bracelet. This came from my other favorite rectangular watch, the DG013 from the Guzman. And I must say, it's a leveled up watch, but more on the elegant side. The versatility of this watch is just endless, and the ease of use is amazing. In fact, I found myself bringing extra straps during the day to swap bands to my heart's content. Then flip the dial again, and man, it's a fidget spinner with two movements. I can't express enough how fun this watch is to wear and play around with. Very much worth the price tag it commands, and every microbrand lover should have one in their collection. Now let's flip over to a weird but somewhat understandable comparison. Let's examine the Versa against a watch that all collections should have the reverse of. Obviously, the Versa looks a lot more like the Cartier tank, but you demanding watch pirates will have to do with this reverse since it's the only one that's available to me. The dimensions are pretty close, but even closer is the flipping mechanism. See, the Reverso uses a ball-bearing locking mechanism that delivers a satisfying click to this horological legend. As much as possible, JLC hides much of its functions between the top side of the watch, making for a very smooth and clean design. The Versa takes this approach and applies it in a cost-effective manner on its mechanism. The ball bearings are on both sides of the case, but the whole case is protruding considerably from its mounting frame while the Reverso blends seamlessly onto itself. This design, however, makes the reversal a little too long for smaller wrists like mine. There are other variants that uses the same principle but applied on smaller, less complicated calibers. This sizing option is not available to the Versa. Well, 
at least not yet. So be aware that while on this dainty wrist demo it looks fairly appropriate, larger, manlier wrists may find it difficult to pull this 26mm case off. Also bear in mind that this reverso is a dual phase mechanical wonder. This contributes to its heft. Vario here uses two quartz Ronda slim tech movements. This preserves its compact dimensions and the cost relatively affordable. Because of its smaller profile, my wife loves wearing this Versa. Some of you have remarks about that. And Wang Stain advised not to leave the woman near the watch box, while Rheology thinks that having a wife that's into watches takes less convincing now. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. My mom seems to like it too. The big O versus OC wishes they made a bigger one. John Kowalski noted that Vario sells out pretty quick, so you better be quick at ordering that as well. And finally, Jim Kincaid has the comment for the ages. This one also reminds him of He-Man's buddy, Man E Faces. Get in on the videos, subscribe so you'll be notified when to get your comments up. At just under $500, we can't complain too much on how this Versa looks. For what it's worth, aside from getting literally two watches in one, the design is pretty decent. There's this very pronounced step to the case that serves as a bezel structure for the piece. This white dial is actually the back part of the watch as you can see with all of the screws on the frame. I would have preferred that these screws be hidden away as it exposes too much of the watch's gimmicks, but that would have increased the cost of producing this design. Both modules have the same kind of crown that's signed with the brand's logo. Notice also that these have an inclined groove for your nails to dig into. I think Vario made a really good design decision to keep the cost down on the Versa. The leather strap that it came with is also pretty decent with the deployant clasp carrying much of the quality heavy lifting with these polished finishes. The burgundy dial of this model has a matte texture with polished hands. These hands pop out very nicely against this vibrant color of the dial. Although it's not readily noticeable, you can see that the hands stick as it advances forward. I'm sure you'll also notice the dust specks on the polished hands, something this watch pirate can't be bothered to worry about anymore. Although less observable, Vario actually made the two dials a bit more distinct. The colored face has a more spacious impression with just the tracks near the perimeter while the reverse side has a lot more going on with its numerals and dual finish portions. I like these details on the lighter side of the dial as it not only sways you with its art deco design but also delivers on the premium side with its blued hands. Obviously, these are not heat treated but it's deep enough not to be like those painted kinds. I'm a bit late to this model as this has been available for quite some time now but I'm happy that it's here. It's one of those pieces that both me and my wife share and it's rather quick to switch around to. Yes, you can use this as a GMT as you can literally set another time to any city in the world including those who are under the half hour zones. But in my case, it's a fantastic excuse to clean the car 3 hours later. Sorry honey, forgot to flip the Versa. Or, oh I'm sorry honey, I'm already at Kunuku Coffee Roasters, you should've flipped the Versa earlier. Whatever excuse it may be, it shouldn't be anything about not having a Versa in your collection. And that is the Vario Versa. It's a reversible watch, similar to the, well, Reverso. That's the first thing that comes to mind. But instead of horizontal, this reverses vertically. I mean, I don't have to spell that out to you. You already saw the video if you reach this far <laughs> in this um, footage. But nevertheless, it's a really good watch, and for $400, you're getting two quartz watches with a massive appeal when it comes to uh, strap changing. So it's not only Lego in a sense, but it's also a transformer. So two good things that came from the 80s. Or, well, is Lego from the 80s? No, it's far, far older than the 80s. Well, Two things that I love and now they're all rolled into one watch. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And you know, these comments, they will make it into our show that's not so consistent, you know, the, the actual uh, podcast. But you don't have to tune into that podcast. This is the only channel that's going to dissuade you from watching the podcast. But you'll watch it anyway because you are uh, disobedient watch pirates. Vario Versa, if there's something that you're going to be obedient on, Go buy a Vario Versa. You won't regret it. It's something 
that will be in your collection at least for a while and then um, you'll enjoy it time and time again by switching on the very nice tab.